Ladies and gents, if you know me, and you know this community, we like to meme a little bit. And we did have the tiniest Age of Empires 2 map uh, a couple weeks ago. We now have the 69 by 420 map. This map is 69 tiles by 420 tiles. And for perspective, a large map is 240 tiles. So this is a very, 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 very long map. Um, we have eight players. We have eight kings. This is a standard uh, regicide diplomacy games. It also does have exploding kings, which we use a lot in these games. And it looks really freaking cool. Shout out to Shulker for making this. Uh, I know he spent a bit of time on it, and I'm really excited we finally have it. Um, it is yes. diplomacy, yes. so players can ally each other and all that good stuff as well. But man, oh man, does this thing look cool. And it is deceivingly large, right? I don't really feel like it, we are able to really pick up on how big this map actually is right now. Um, so yeah, I think everything's going good. Uh, I will introduce the players in a moment. This is actually a nomad start. So it's rather important that, uh, you know, if there's going to be explosions that you aren't next to other people if you can avoid it. But they're in the dark on that, right? Uh, even though they're allied right now, the vision's not shared. Uh, they will only get vision if they make markets or whatever else in the future. Um, I don't think kings are going to go down, but I have noticed some people have an ally, so we'll find out soon. All right. Um, let's start our introductions. In the very north... And this guy is far away from everybody else. I mean, holy. He, oh, no! <laughs> Guys, he had villagers spawn on the other side of the map? This is going to take forever. This guy's going to be on three town centers in Castle Age by the time these other villagers make it to the town center. <laughs> Anyways, we have a member of our community named Reckless Sarge. Uh, Reckless Sarge has this thing he likes to say. Um, where he just says, if he ever kills somebody, he says, you just got Sarged. Um, doesn't happen very frequently for Reckless Sarge. In fact, I think more frequently he says, I just got Sarged. But he does say it. Look out for it. He's playing as the Italians in the orange, very far away from everybody else. In the gray, we have gray. <laughs> I love this. This is so convenient for me. Um, yeah, in the gray, we have gray playing as the Portuguese. Okay. Uh, to the right of Gray, well, there's Blue's King, uh, where is he? Okay, here's Koshdai. Koshdai is playing as the Celts. Koshdai's been around this community for a long time, had the pleasure of meeting him in real life as well. Yes. Had a meetup last year. Yes. In the green, right next door, we have Just Out of Range, which is ironic because he is just out of range of the enemy's TC. He's playing as the Lithuanians. Oh, oh, be careful, Teal, be careful! Okay, I guess they're all friends for now. Um, in the teal, we have a core playing as the Tatars. Currently shooting a boar with the town center. Just trying to weaken it. Not bad. In the yellow, we have Dragon Milk playing as the Ethiopians. I think Dragon Milk might actually be the host of an upcoming like food tournament. I could be confusing people. In the red, we have Jerry Coke playing as the uh, Malians. There's also a yellow king standing on his farm. So I would be very, very uh, leery of that. I guess, though, the fact that kings explodes means that people aren't going to do that because they'll just nuke their own economy if they do. Uh, moving along further, uh, sorry to zoom out just to find people. We have I was playing as the Burmese. And then I think that's it. I don't think we missed anybody. So we've got five players in the same spot. And then purple's a little bit away from this. And then gray is, is pretty far away. And then orange is pretty far away. But again, this is just like a really big map. Um, now, someone asked me if Capture Age, the program we're using to cast this, would yes. be able to handle this. I kind of noticed that the terrain is very fuzzy. Like, look, if you look at the grass, it's just it's very grainy. So I wonder if the size of the map does affect how certain graphics show. Everything else looks fine, though. So we will... Um, We'll see how things pan out here. But the map actually looks really cool. Uh, I know we, I'm kind of doing it for the memes here. And, you know, haha, -ha, funny, funny, 69, 420. <laughs> but, you know, all that aside, I think it's pretty cool. I'm trying to see where the boars are. Because it really felt like, oh god, purple just lost a boar. Um, 
uh, village or to a boar, rather. But yeah, it didn't seem like there were as many boars around Sarge. But, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, literally just making it back with one of those villagers, guys. And Sarge with no loom is going to attempt to bring in this boar. Can he do it? Let's see. Okay. No loom. Okay, that villager tries to help. This, this boar is still very much fixated on this villager. The king is inside the TC. Here come all the villagers joining the party. And... Garrison? Okay, well, no, just go take the berries, my friend. All right, perfect. So we've had some chatter in this game. And uh, Kashta is a very chatty individual. Says, we are friends. Our neighborhood will be the start of a great story. And Green says, any stone? And he says, yes, let's be neighbors. Uh, Purple talks about losing a vill and blames the pathing. Blue says, I don't worry, I lost two vills. And Yellow says, gonna make a border. Who knows what that means? Oh, wow. Okay, so that means I don't trust you. Gonna make a border means you are not allowed over here or there will be consequences. But if there were was an explosion, let's say here, it would nuke three people it would nuke teal it would it would nuke green it would nuke yellow so i think what these guys should be doing once they realize and they will in feudal once they build markets um once they realize that they're close to so many people i think they need to just expand their economy to the different areas um jerry coke says talking only do you want to be buddies does say that to two people and teal says yellow no need to wall let's be friends here so We'll see how things pan out. Uh, I don't expect there will be a lot of aggression from here. It is interesting. Just It feels like the uh, kings are bigger on the Capture Age minimap, but it's just because of how narrow this map is. Blue says, okay, this is a lie. Kashtai says, yeah, Red, let's be friends, but I have not a lot of experience. First comic game, which is not true at all. And Red says, yeah. But Red, this also isn't Red's first walk in the park. I think Jerry Coke has been around for a while. So Jerry might be able to call Blue out on that. There should be 12 relics on the map, says Shulker, the creator of the map. Okay. I'm seeing a couple here. They are spread out. That could be good. My question is, how much trade profit are players going to get from side to side here? That's got to be insane, right? I think if you go on a large map from the northern corner to the southern yes. corner or the eastern corner to the western corner, which is the furthest distance, you get 190 gold. And so I think the tiles there is 240. I believe that's what it is. Chat might have to correct me. So if this is 420, you're looking at a lot. And Shulker instantly says 468. I assume you're saying it's 468 gold per trip. What? Dude, that's insane. This map is extremely large, and Sarge just got Sarged. Kind of a sad time there for that villager, but not the only one that's happened to in this game. Okay. So again, players are pretty cramped. We've got 69-420 map. The map actually looks really cool. I like the uh, border. The border stones, you could call it. Um, it just adds a touch. You can't actually fall off the edge of the map in Age of Empires 2. Though some villagers may fear that due to lack of education, but the, um, oh wow, the, you know, there's a couple things hiding in it as well, like the stone mines. It does feel like the stone and gold is spread pretty evenly. Wood could actually be an issue, but again, the map is really large. So the wood efficiency will suffer because there's a bunch of tiny wood lines, but you'll chop through it pretty quickly. These maps are awesome, man. Where would we be? If Age of Empires 2 didn't have creative map scripts, I'm sure we'd still be having fun. But I feel like these scripts really add a lot. Also, Sarge, highly suggest Loom in the future. Just just bring that up. I'm not even sure if you can claim credit for blocking that villager with the with the turkey there, but wow. <laughs> I feel like we're picking on Sarge here, but now he's doing fine. Yeah, walls would be really easy on this map, T90's farming skills. Yeah. You don't actually have to wall that much. Like, if you're in Sarge's position, you just fully stonewall yes. and make a million times. Wonder Victory! Wonder Victory would actually be really good because you could just 
fully stone wall while everyone else is fighting. Go for a wonder. Whoa, what is this? Oh, whoa, that's cool. You see this? I guess, okay, actually, I recall seeing that at the start. But when I looked at this corner, it really freaked me out. So this is still technically considered a map area. There's just no terrain there. And, uh, oh my god, no! What? Yellow, walled in blues king, and blue just says yellow, stop it. I don't think he's stopping. That is gonna be a dead king. Oh boy. And Dragon Milk says he's hungry. Oh boy. Kosh die, bro. You said it was your first community game. You're really acting like it here. Your king wasn't safe. His final words were, I beg you, and Kosh dies out of the game. That obviously sucks, right? That's brutal. And now Yellow is going to be considered a bully. And Blue said that to everybody, of course. Teal will also be affected by this. Good luck with that double bit. <gasps> <gasps> no, Teal is dead now as well. Who else is close? Who else is close? So Akor is dead. Due to the chain reaction, I don't think anybody else is going to die. That king took <laughs> chose the wrong time for a walk. Uh. Okay. I mean, this could hurt yellow. But knowing... Oh, wow. It somehow doesn't get affected at all. Dang. So, two people go down. Yellow says, my houses... But I think people picked up on the fact there that Yellow was being a bit of a bully, right? Because Blue did beg Yellow to stop. Look at Sarge. There are some people who look at Yellow and, and they see a bully. And there are people who look at Yellow and they see a very strong ally. He says, Yellow, do you have a long-term ally? Only to you. And now he says, Green, only to you. Do you have a long-term ally? We can trade. Okay, so he's reaching out. Yellow says, I don't know how to chat to one person. Okay, well, that's kind of an important skill to have. Anyways, two people are dead. We only have six left. I do feel bad for both Kashtai and Akor. I feel worse for Akor because there was no way for him at that stage of the game to know what was happening, right? He, he knew someone died, but he didn't know where it died. He had no vision. And Red says the trumpet in the top right. Click that on the left bar. Yeah, he's explaining where to go. And Sarge says, I'm corner. I don't expect to win, but we'll fight to the death to protect you. Now, green is far away. They, they're they using carrier pigeons to transfer these messages. They cannot speak to each other. And we'll see how things pan out here, guys. But yeah, sad times, obviously, for teal and blue. And I, I was thinking initially, remember, if someone died here, that there would be more of a chain reaction. But obviously... The king was just far away, and it just cost. I just let it sit there. He just forgot about it. I don't know how my king actually died. Yeah, Akur, uh, you're probably going to be watching the stream around now. Yellow's going to go for another one? Guys, put your kings away. <laughs> I think Yellow's gonna, just going to try and kill Green, honestly. He seems to have... Yeah, he doesn't seem to care at all. Green actually turns um, on blue. Oh, okay. I don't know where green is going. Is green scouting at this point? But yellow is just like... It's a bit of an interesting strategy because... I always say don't be a bully, right? Because then you're going to have a target on your back. But if you kill people fast enough... Then it's different. Fast enough... You know, you don't want to give them time to band together... Against you. Uh, okay, he's just going to take out blue's buildings. FYI, guys. If you are allied with someone... Or I guess if they're allied with you after they're dead, you can just delete all their stuff. But that Green King is just... Scouting the map, I guess? I mean, at this point, you have shared exploration with other people. I don't love the idea of the, of the King being out there. Red, I kind of understand, because Red is next to a bunch of people. Yellow is castle dropping Red right now. Dragon Milk is insanely aggressive. And Red has a TC down here. So uh, he's going to build it. And he says, yellow, I don't love that castle. 
So yellow basically said, no Diplo. I don't really know how to do the chat settings. I'm happy to kill blue. <laughs> His response says, your king is not there. This is this is just like the perfect bully for a community game, right? Red says, I know. Like, thanks. Yeah, I moved it myself. You're going to be nice though, right? Yeah, everything about yellow's gameplay so far tells me he's going to be nice. Yeah, he's going to be aggressive. He's, he says, I'm always nice. I mean, again, he's speaking to everyone right now. He's already killed one person, which led to another person dying. There will be people out there who say, I want yellow to die now, and thus makes this more interesting to watch for them. But there are also people who are out there who are like, I kind of appreciate yellow. I would probably be that guy, to be honest. Not everyone can be nice. And are rooting for yellow. So every community game needs characters like this. It adds to the whole drama of the community games. I swear to God. Dude, green, I don't know what your king was doing out there. Yellow's allied with you. He's now turned on you. Get your king to safety, you crazy person. And king is headed to safe. <gasps> it's Walt. He would have to delete a house. Is there... Okay, never mind. All right, so the Showtels are now going to attack Green's Vills. And there's now Siege on Green's TC. Um... You know, people are maybe starting to think about Yellow not being a great guy. Not a nice person could say that too. A bit, yeah. Okay, so so I guess Red is saying the purple is being sus. Scouts are attacking Yellow as well, though. So some revenge. Chotel Warrior is now running in. Siege could go down to the Scout. Obviously painful stuff for Green right now. Green actually has more Vils than Yellow, though. And Siege still stands for now, but we're going to have the Knights show up, and the Knights could finish off the Siege, which means the TC stays alive for a little bit longer. Shota Warriors have high attack, though, and Green doesn't really have a great economy, and there's already more Siege. So, Yellow doing everything he can to kill people, also simultaneously putting a massive target on his back, and no conversions there. That really hurts Green right now. And... Yellow says just going for top scores. Now, that means Gray is going to be on the defensive. He says Robin Hood of sorts. I mean, maybe. <laughs> <It's> just, uh, maybe. <laughs> okay, Green, I see what you're doing, and I see you're trying to click your villagers after... <laughs> oh, no. After the siege, but not your king, bro. You what? what? Not the king. Get back in the town center. I don't even think yellow knows this right now. Green, hey, the king. No, you can't fight with him. You can't, like, you know, use your belly as a weapon. But if you could, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, God. Oh, no. Fatal mistake. Green is dead. How do we have so many people dead so far? Now, this will hurt yellow, I believe. I believe this damages yellow's economy. And uh, he will finally pay a bit more of a price for sniping someone next to him. Let's see. I, I could be wrong, but I think maybe the TC goes down. Actually, no. TC doesn't go down, but the villagers here do. What? Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, green's out of the game now. So, yellow has been an absolute bully. His economy right now. Um, What's it looking like? He's at 33 eco, which is the lowest left in the game. Um... Uh, Teal says first commie didn't go according to plan. Don't worry. The redemption story is now there for you, Accord. The next time you're in, we'll remember this moment. And meanwhile, over here, it's very peaceful. We have Sarge uh, doing his best impression of an AI. Uh, we've got beautiful tower. We've got some archers and some scouts. We've got some stone walls. He is not walling like straight across. He doesn't want a lot of space. He, he's like, I don't need a lot. I'm a simple individual. I, I live a simple life, so I'm just going to go for the corner. I'm fine with that. Also, mods, we could get rid of that command. That'd be really cool. People don't click that link. But um, eco count, number one is gray at 83. Number two is red at 71. And the number three is I was at 58. Uh, red to orange says we should ally and swish people. Thoughts? Oh, he says squish. 
Yes. Who are you allied with, says Sarge? There has not been any chatter from Gray. Did I miss some? Gray has been as silent as can be. And he is also the best player right now. So I don't really have a, a good grasp on what type of player this is. He is stonewalled, though, which is smart. Ooh, also, where are they trading to? Ooh. I want to see gold in the trade cart. Okay, that's 82 trade. Or 82 gold. But I think greens might be... Oh, green's dead. Okay, and his market was in the middle. Even still, though, it will show how much gold it gets from that market. Mm. Red says, I don't 100% trust yellow. And that is 82 gold. Okay, I'm, I'm unconvinced. I think that that might be a different market. I don't know. Oh, wait, gray dropped. Oh, God. And someone in chat says, I was gray. My game crashed. I don't know why I was top score. Oh, my goodness. No, gray dropped. There was no noise for me. Everyone's dying here. Also, I know this is a really bad time, but I, I, I can't help but find this context kind of funny. Gray, do you remember prior to the drawing how I took a break and then you said, I didn't realize it was you, but you said T90 wasn't taking a snack break. He was just rigging the next players. Do you remember that joke? And then I made the joke that if I was going to rig it, I would rig you out of it because that was a lie. <laughs> the fact that you now dropped my friend is not my fault. I did not do that and I feel bad for it. Uh, but it also, considering that whole conversation prior to the game, makes me giggle a little bit. I gotta make some decisions on what we do with some of these players, because quite honestly, I feel bad. We might have a situation where I let some people back in for another game. Uh, particularly with Teal, I think. I think for Blue, you know, you leave your king out in the open, maybe it should be expected. But anyways, yeah, salt my wounds some more. I love you, buddy. I love you, buddy. I was just about to say what's going to happen here, and I didn't realize you had actually dropped. Peso Red, who we should go after. I mean, Red is also very confused. People, people might also not realize that Gray disconnected. It could also be... Uh, they might think that he was killed by Yellow. Yeah, what's up? I mean, red's got good eco now. Yellow's king is now on the move. I don't trust yellow to just move a king without a purpose here. I feel like yellow would maybe try and sabotage somebody, but he's here to win, right? Hmm. King's still moving around. Should we go after orange or yellow first? Red says yellow, I think. Guys, this is amazing for Reckless Sarge. Sarge is so far removed from everybody. And Gray's walls help protect him. So I think everyone else could go between Gray's walls. Oh, I guess this is where the drop happened. Okay, Reckless Sarge says, high score Gray is big to worry. Then he drops. He says, that works. And Purple laughed. Okay, so that is that chat was confusing for me at the time. Do you know where his king is at? Yellow's king is just walking around out here. Yeah, that's true. Everyone was Gray's ally, so they could just go through the gates. I don't think they can lock your gates either. Whoa, 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 whoa. But they can delete your buildings, and you still have a king. <gasps> oh. Okay, so we have seen this happen before. With experienced community game members. I think it's happened about five times. Oh, okay. Who deleted it? Well, okay. I was I was about to pump people up and say you could actually go over there with a spearman and like attack it and make it move close to somebody. But I guess the map is far too large. Okay, so they deleted the king. So the secret bomb is going to go off. It's just going to clear up. Oh, the empty C for Reckless Sarge? <laughs> Sarge says you just got Sarge to a player who 
got sarged by their internet connection or by the game thanks to E. He had to say it, so in his eyes, he just got a king kill. <laughs> and that was so risky, he almost lost his MTC. Also changed his chat settings, so when he said, you just got sarged, he said that only to us. That is the most sarged thing I've ever seen. That must have been sarged deleting it, right next to his eco. Okay, yellow is attacking, but his king is next to the fight. What? Whoa! This guy's a terrorist, bro! <sighs> okay, this is really bad for purple. Yellow attacked and then also deleted his king. So I think purple dies now. Also, Imp TC makes it to Imp. Where's his king at? I don't see it. I think it's on the screen somewhere. And now purple's dead as well. I am... <laughs> I am, like, very confused. <laughs> Dude, this is... Some people just like to watch the world burn. And that's precisely what Dragon Milk wants here. And now, in a game that I thought was going to go on forever, we have Red on one side, and we have Sarge on the other. It's the longest map that we could possibly have a 1v1 on. And it's, it's just like, look how far they have to go. Jeez. Yeah, Purple's name, completely accurate. The name I was. Uh, fits the situation. I mean, it was so weird, right? Like, yellow attacking, but then deleting his king. It was all part of the plan, though, right? Clearly, that was intentional. Red just says, what happened? Sarge says, I have no idea. So, okay, uh, 65 eco for Sarge. Guys, you gotta go for Wonder, right? This is the perfect instance for wonder. Does anyone have resources for it? Red does. And, I mean, Sarge could. Want to make this interesting? Sure. I saw you heading this way. Okay, I ally back. Red says, no, I was just avoiding the explosion, which is fair. Um... I mean, yeah, I mean, wonder victory would make sense. They, they might feel the pressure of wanting to actually kill somebody though like yay i won a community game literally everybody else died and then it was a 1v1 it just doesn't have the same ring to it but i did make it clear that relic and wonder victory is possible we do that consistently in these types of games red is now in imperial age i didn't realize he wasn't an imp before and he says bombard cannon arena so they want to do a showdown of sorts and Sarge says, let me check to see if I get those. You do. Yep, you do. Italians get it. Malians get it. Sarge wasn't completely sure, which is understandable. Countdown from three and shoot slash dodge king slash cannons. And then he says, me too. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Okay, so that's what they're going to do. So they're going to build walls, and apparently they're going to build it out here. So we have some time to kill before this actually takes place. Um, and we don't know if it is even going to be agreed upon. Also, I can't help but notice that yellow has units here. And with the way this game has gone, I could see yellow accidentally... I mean, not accidentally, he's dead. But I could see someone running through yellow's units and dying. Red says... Too many trees. Open space. Actually, if you want a good arena, you want to go somewhere where there was an explosion. So, yeah, like, this would actually be the best way. A very weird game. Uh, Red says, I lost my uni LMAO. Okay, he's got to make a more another university. Cool. Of all the maps, I did not expect this to be the one where <laughs> where it was going to be such a short game. I mean, we'll see. Maybe it will end up being quite long from here, but... I mean, I imagine Sarge is going to be truthful to his agreement. He's not moving. Stepped away for a little. How did Yellow die? Um, In a way he wanted. He died in the way he lived. Aggressive and trying to ruin everyone else's day. 
Now, there was someone earlier who was watching who said, I, um, how long is the game going to be? Because I have somewhere to be. I wonder if that was yellow. I guess that's a possibility. Well, friend, be nice. Ever want a commie game? Question mark. Also, uh, to be clear to YouTube, <clears throat> um, we are talking about community. Okay. I don't want to be demonetized. Just, commie is just a friendly way of saying community. Here, that is. <clears throat> There's the arena. Red's building it. He says getting Bombard Tower now. What? You don't need Bombard Tower? And Red's like, Bombard Tower? He said cannons. <laughs> Sarge says, I thought that's what we're doing. Oh, okay. So Sarge was confused. Red clarifies that point. Sarge is still getting upgrades for other forms of military. Shortest game in the longest map? Maybe. I mean, it's not... It's been, at this point, over an hour... Almost an hour game time. Which I suppose is pretty short by community game yes. standards. And these guys are just trying to end this game in a way that is pleasing to the fans. And Red says, think t 90s still watching. And Sarge says, yes, T90 probably real excited. Man, if you know me. I'm actually just... I just think it's really cool that the king can kind of hide here behind the rocks. That is a really cool aspect of this. And it's not fully walled, my friends. Maybe that's his escape plan? Also, have I never seen a Malian king? Look at him. Actually, that's kind of making me dizzy. Okay. Well, there's knights in there. There's also a university in here. There's also... Oh, wait, no, he's not in yet. Oh, that was another wall. Okay, that makes more sense. My cannon and king are ready. No attack stands before we start. Guys, this arena is massive. The kings are so fast. They, they, they would have to be so unbelievably... Okay. Gotta be nice. They'd have to be... They'd have to struggle a bit as a player in order to lose their king to these cannons. <laughs> new new favorite word. Uh, Sarge says, don't forsake me. <laughs> Which, you, you know, he's trying to say, don't forsake yes. me. Like, don't backstab me. But four shake, that's yes. pretty cool, actually. He says, I promise I won't. And then he says, one cannon? And Red's like, yes, one cannon. Okay. I. It would be interesting if Red kills Sarge and then says, you just got Sarged. It would also be interesting if Sarge says, you don't got Sarge. Now, or you don't get, well, you know what I mean. Um, here comes the king. There is a chance it could run into yellow if yellow has any remaining units. These are the show tells I was talking about earlier. Actually, was it yellow? Oh, yeah. Yellow was allied to him. Yes. All right. Just follow this. <clears throat> I don't think there's any other action on the map to really worry about right now. All right, I, I want to tell you what I would love to see at some point in these types of showdowns. Now, last time I said this, someone said T90, some people have honor, you know, and basically pointed out that that would be breaking the rules. And if you had a long friendship and you had a lot of respect for the opponent, you might not want to do this. And I get that. But if they're both in the arena, it would be really cool if you were the guy who was in charge of the arena, if... You lock the gates, and you wheel in with a siege tower. And, I mean, it doesn't even matter if you lock the gates. Just, you're doing the thing, and you zoom in with a siege tower with Arbalest inside, and hop out, and you forsake them. That would be really cool looking. Just like a little drive-by. Zoom, you know? Alright, where's the king? Sarge says, this is for you viewers. Wait a second. He's talking to us. And Shalker, 11. Yeah, Shalker made the map. They're good friends in the Discord. Ducks, welcome. Says, what is this map? Does Dreco Sarge have a trick up his sleeve here? What's the plan? Okay, here we go. Conclusion of what was a much shorter game than I expected. Sarge says, countdown, question mark. 
I would die if Sarge thinks he's gonna like explode red and he just deletes his own king. That's not gonna work because it's a 1v1 now. How we do? Red says I can do it. Okay. On three, go on go. Okay, great, great job. Good stuff. Food, please. Three, no. two, yes. one, go. Okay, so Sarge turns on Jerry. Jerry hasn't turned on Sarge yet. <laughs> oh, God. Red's King took a hit. <laughs> Red's King took a hit. I'm weak. I'm weak. I've been forsaken. Oh, no. He shot the ball mark cannon. I think Red wanted to do attack. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He says, oops, redo. Oh, God, guys, I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> They're trying so hard to make this entertaining. <laughs> and it's just not. <laughs> it's just not. <laughs> These are two people using all their creative power to try and end this in the best way possible. <laughs> and I guess the fact that it's not entertaining is entertaining right now. Sarge, he enemy. Oh, he got it. Wow, what? They take three hits? Sarge is winning. But, but. <laughs> Red just keeps sending in more cannons. Okay, so Sarge put Red on enemy. And Red is saying we have to be allies, but you do attack round because you can still do damage to the kings, but you don't automatically fire on someone's cannons. <laughs> So notice how Red is not attacking Sarge's cannon, and Sarge just, well, I mean, I guess he could have been trying to kill the king this whole time. We don't really know. Now they're going in the minimum range of the cannons. You, guys, <laughs> this arena is way too freaking large. Okay, random villager dies. She was a spectator, and, oh, what? What is the, wait, what? What? Oh, it's a new cannon. I'm stupid. I, I thought I was checking the king HP. I'm sorry. I got all confused. It's very intense stuff. Okay. All right, guys. Now, usually what happens in these long standoffs where people don't die is eventually they go, oh, God, T90's probably not watching anymore. What do we do now? So I'm curious on how long that's going to take. I mean, red is one hit. Oh. All right. Red is one hit away from going down, and the game ends just after an hour. This is not exactly how I thought this game would go. Map idea is really cool. Uh, unfortunately for many of the participants here, Yellow just wanted to watch the world burn and killed as many people as possible. A lot of crazy things happened. And uh, Sarge gets his win. Now, let's go to the game, and let's see. Okay. So, damn sorry again, LMAO, ha ha ha, you just got sarged. And then the GGs are called, and he says, wifey, I did it. GG, thanks for not snipping me 11. And Red says, I've always wanted to be sarged. And they all are very happy with how this game has transpired, apparently. So, um, interesting map. Maybe didn't play out in the way that we thought it would. But if life was predictable, it would get rather boring and bland. So I appreciate Yellow at the very least for, you know, teaching some hard lessons to the players who didn't keep their kings protected and giving us something different in this game. Uh, I think there were some people who maybe wanted to see Yellow eventually die, right, for being a bully. Um, but Yellow decided to go out in his own terms. And again, it was a pretty good game. Uh, really cool map, though. And I... I think it has potential. Like, honestly, I think if we had more of a standard game, it probably goes on for a very long time, which could be a negative. I was also thinking it would be cool to maybe have a monument in the middle of this, and we could maybe do it King of the Hill, Hill style, which incentivizes people to go to the middle. What would be wild there is, obviously, you want to be close to the middle, but if you're too close to the middle, then every all the action just rolls through your base uh, right in towards the monument, which would probably be a negative. So if you want to play this map, uh, it is 69.420 in the Mod Center. At least it will eventually be in the Mod Center. I think it's currently bugged. I don't really know. Uh, here's the KD for you. Uh, yellow, 134 kills and 19 deaths, not including, not including the king that he deleted. 
which was his own. Uh, Sarge, our winning player, had four kills and two deaths, just as you would expect. Because um, that happens every time you see someone win an eight-player community game. Uh, economically, we did have red on top. Uh, red had 60k resources collected, which was quite nice, especially considering some of the early struggles that red had. And uh, that's about everything that I think I want to touch on at the conclusion of this one. So if you're watching the video and you enjoyed it, or enjoyed the map concept, leave a comment, let me know, like it, whatever. Um, thanks for watching.